guys, it's Cassie, and today I'm starting my very first video, and it's going to be bookish facts about me. Um, I used to have a beauty channel, don't like it anymore. I'm starting a booktube channel because I really love books, and I want to join that kind of community. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. So bookish fact number one, I hate hardbacks. I really, really hate hardbacks with a passion. I really wish that publishers and people would have paperbacks when books first come out because then I always have like paperbacks of a series I just got into and then when the next book comes out it'll be hardback because I'm so eager to read it but I don't like per se the feel of reading it because of how much I hate hardbacks. I love reading paperbacks, I love the feel of it um, and I think hardbacks look nicer on a shelf or on a bookcase. Um, but I love reading paperbacks and that's what books are for so I normally often buy paperbacks on book depository of books that have recently come out because they never have them in my paperbacks. They're only ever in hardbacks and it's so annoying. Um, fact number two, I have only recently gotten back into reading. Um, reading was always really a big part of my life but I have only recently gotten back into it. I just love reading. That's why a lot of book series that have been out for a while, like The Mortal Instruments, I'm just now reading. <laughs> Fact number three, um, I actually read the Harry Potter series between the grades of second grade and fifth grade. And when I was a kid, I actually did not like the series. I liked the movies, but I did not like the series. I did not appreciate the books as I do now, and I'm rereading them currently, and I'm really enjoying them and seeing them with fresh eyes again. Yeah. Uh, fact number four, I actually keep a reading notebook. Tallying of books that I've read in a year, um, books that I've read in months, and books I want to read, um, reviews, uh, to be reads for a month, um, and of like top tens, um, and yeah, so I forgot what number we're on already. Okay, um, but let's just do tip number, put it right there. Um, but I, when I'm reading, I normally read on the car ride to school and on the car ride back from school because I am in eighth grade, I'm in middle school, I barely have a social life as it is. Um, it's really hard to read a lot of books and make time for it. Um, really the only time I get. And then obviously I don't want to like avoid lectures or anything like that, but I read in class when there's free time. Uh, fact number six or seven I think it is. Um, I love Kira Cass's selection series. That's one of my guilty pleasures. Um, I know that it's not the most popular in the booktube community because it is like a middle grade read. It's not very uh, mature, I guess you could say. Um, but I've always loved Cinderella and all those fairy tales with a passion since I was really little. And I still do love it. Like my favorite movie is the movie um, remake of Cinderella in the 2015 version. Like that's my favorite movie. I watch it at least once every month and I love it. Um, but yeah, and every three months I reread the series and whenever I'm done with a book and I don't know what to do with my life and don't know what to read next, I always pick up the selection series. It's always my go-to and I love it so much and if you haven't read it, then what are you doing with your life? Um, fact number whatever it is, um, I drink coffee when I read a lot. Whenever I'm reading a book, if I'm at home and I get a chance to, I like drinking things like chai tea lattes from the Keurig or like iced tea, um, not iced teas, like the iced coffee my mom makes really nicely. Um, and I just kind of normally drink something because um, I don't really like, I mean, I like snacking in general. Snacking's amazing. Um, but I don't really like to have to pick something up while I'm turning pages. Tip number whatever it is, I don't really like to read in my room. Um, I find that since I have my computer, my phone, a lot of other distractions, I get very distracted and I want to put down my book for other things and I don't want to do that in the long run. Um, so I normally like to read outside on my balcony, um, up in my attic, which is really weird because my attic is a playroom. Uh, 
I've lost track so many times, I don't know what number this is. Um, but as I read, if I'm reading in my attic, like I just previously said, my cat always interrupts me. Like, walking around next to me, uh, trying to get in front of my book. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah. I read a lot before school. I do. And I read a lot after school and during study hall. Um, and a lot of my friends are like, Cassie, can you please put your book down? We're trying to have a conversation. And I was like... <sighs> so yeah, that's literally my reaction. And my friends are just like... <sighs> and so, yeah, that's, that's really my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to learn a little bit more about me as a book reader. Um, please like and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoyed. And my next video will either be a what I read in February and um, what I plan to read in March or a book haul because since March is my birth month I got a lot of books either from myself or from my family as they gave me gift cards to Amazon and my cash in general and I just kind of spent it on books. So yeah. <laughs> Tell me which one you'd like to see first, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!